Hi guys. Yes, today we are going to be talking about the structure in front of us. I don't know what we are seeing, but as you can see, some of us have already identified it. Yes, you are right. This is the spleen. This is our spleen, right? So the first thing to do when you see a spleen is to position it in the way it is, the anatomical position, right? So how do you position it? This thing has three borders, two ends, right? So three borders, two ends, two surfaces. The surfaces are diaphragmatic surface and visceral surface. Your end one is posterior, one is anterior, and the borders are intermediate, superior, and lower border, or inferior border. Again, um, two ends, posterior and anterior end, two surfaces, visceral and diaphragmatic surface, and three, bod um, three borders, superior, intermediate, and inferior border. Yeah, so now how do we differentiate our border? For our superior border has notch as notch so this structure that we can see is notch it's like a depression sort of thing so this is a notch on the superior border so that's what we can tell our superior border from the rest of the border so once you've identified the superior border the rest is very easy so the superior border this is superior border this is our inferior border and this is our intermediate border the ilium is located at the visceral surface so this is our visceral surface and this is our diaphragmatic surface so how do we know our end our end by the time you place it the way it's supposed to be, this way the thing is supposed to be posterior or medial end. We have a anterior or lateral end. So these are posterior or medial end, these are anterior or lateral end, superior border, inferior border, intermediate border. Again, superior border, this way it is superior border, intermediate border, and inferior border, anterior or lateral end, posterior or medial end, visceral surface, diaphragmatic surface. Now, to the visceral surface, we have four impressions on the spleen, and it's often asked in simple chase question, right? Those four impressions. And the most obvious of them all is the, or the most prominent is the gastric impression. But before I show, you, show us the gastric impression, the impressions are gastric impression, renal impression, colic impression, and pancreatic impression. So this right here, the one, the way you identify your gastric impression, the one that is closer to the notch is the gastric impression. So in between the superior border and the intermediate border, we have our gastric impression just in this area. So this area can be painted, it can, you know, further can be poured on it, anything can be done to it to ask us to identify. So this area right here is our gastric impression because it's closer to the superior border. Imagine this is where it is. So the stomach is in front and the kidney is behind. So this is our gastric impression. Then this other area that is away from the ileum is our renal impression. So this right here is our renal impression. This right here is our gastric impression. Then close to the anterior or lateral end, we have our colic impression. Then in between the anterior end and the ileum of the spleen, we have the pancreatic impression just about this place. This is our pancreatic impression. Again, gastric impression renal impression, colic impression, and pancreatic impression. So this is our ilum of the spleen. Our ilum of the spleen. Right. So this right here is the, is a ligament. Is a ligament. So we have two ligament of the spleen in this area. We have the linearenal ligament. The linearenal ligament contains some structures. And the second ligament is gastrosplenic ligament. From the name, gastrosplenic connects the spleen to the gastric. That's to the stomach, and from the name also connects the spleen to the kidney, right? So you can be specifically asked to, um, you can be asked to specifically identify what parts of those structures are giving impression on the spleen. So the gastric impression is due to the fundus, the renal impression is due to the left kidney, the colic impression is due to the left colic flexure or splenic flexure, while the pancreatic impression is due to the tail of pancreas. So this is our spleen. Before the base and entry enter into the spleen, before they enter into the spleen, they divide into five, five segmental branches, both the artery and the vein. The vein give four, five tributaries, while the artery give five branches, right? And also know the branches of the spleen, the, the splenic branches, know where the splenic artery and vein, know where they are coming from. The splenic vein is a tributary of the portal vein, while the splenic artery is a branch of the celiac trunk. Right, a direct branch of the celiac trunk. So know those structures. Know the content of the linearenal ligament. Content of linearenal ligament includes it includes pancreaticosplenic lymph node, tail of pancreas, and splenic vessels. Again, pancreaticosplenic lymph node, tail of pancreas, and splenic vessels. While the gastrosplenic ligament contains just two things. 
we have the short gastric vessel, which is the branch of splenic vessel, and our accessory spleen. So those are the content of gastric, gastrocolic ligament as well as linear renal ligament. So this is the spleen. Again, let's go over it quickly. Whenever you are given a spleen, identify the superior border from the inferior border. So the superior border presents a notch. The inferior border does not have any notch. And the intermediate border is in between the both of them. At the intermediate border, we have the ileum of... Then we have the impressions. We have our gastric impression, renal impression, colic impression, and pancreatic impression. Know what, what particular part of those um, organs are causing the impression. For the gastric impression, it's the fundus of the stomach. For the renal impression, it's the left kidney. For the colic impression, it's the left colic flexure or splenic flexure and for the pancreatic impression is the tail of pancreas then we have the posterior or medial end then we have anterior or lateral end we have two surfaces diaphragmatic the one directly related to the diaphragm and we have a uh, visceral surface also know the dimension of the spleen that is the thickness the width the length the width and the relation to ribs so the, so the thickness is one inch the width is three inches the length is five inches, the weight is seven ounce, and it is related to the ninth to eleventh rib posteriorly. So thickness one inch, width three inches, length five inches, the weight is seven ounce, and it is related to the ninth to eleventh rib posteriorly. So this is basically all for this plane. Bye.